Today on Discover Wisconsin, we're on the lookout for a very special duck as we explore the waters, travel through the peaceful valleys, and a charming downtown. We're finding our oasis in Lodi and Lake Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. A lot of people may have passed through the Lodi and Lake Wisconsin area on this, the Merrimack Ferry. But today we're diving in a little deeper and showing you more about this hidden oasis. Only 30 minutes from both Madison and Wisconsin Dells, you'll find beautiful Lake Wisconsin and the peaceful valley, also known as Lodi. We started our visit with a trip on the historic Merrimack Ferry, the only free car ferry in the state. This is an awesome view down here, but I bet you there's some fun happening up there. Come on, follow me. We're authorized personnel today. Let's go straight to the source. Don, a ferry veteran since 1984. A lot of people come from all over the United States here just to ride the free ferry. Uh, numerous people, uh, car counts, 300,000 cars approximately per year. Well over a million people walk on, motorcycles, you name it, it comes through. What a gorgeous view. With so much water recreation and sightseeing opportunities, we decided to hop on another boat for an afternoon cruise. What are some of the different activities that you see people out here enjoying? Um, well, probably the biggest thing is the recreational water sports with the people with their power boats, skiing, tubing is very popular. Everybody can get along out here. There again, it's its size and accessibility. There's lots of little bays and stuff, so people can pull into a bay, anchor the boat, hop out and swim. What a great idea. We beached the boat and jumped in to cool off. Covering more than 10,000 acres, Lake Wisconsin is the 10th largest lake in the state. It has over 50 miles of shoreline and is an ideal destination for world-class fishing. Lake Wisconsin has a wide variety of fish for anybody, whether you want to pan fish, uh, uh, bass fish, northern muskies, walleyes, uh, so you can go pretty much for anything that's in the state of Wisconsin. The lake has uh, humps and drop-offs and sandbars that have actually been carved in from the current uh, through the years, and those are all great walleye spots. Great. That's a nice uh, Lake Wisconsin sauger. Lake Wisconsin is a year-round fishing spot for most of the species. In fact, winter is a popular time to wet a line. When the snow is flying, the lake is also a popular place to ride, along with miles of snowmobile trails in the area. Several winter events take place right on the ice, like the Lake Wisconsin radar runs. Riders speed down the track to see how fast they can run their sled, ATV, or bike. Spectators can cheer on their favorite racers and then warm up by the bonfire. Year-round parking can be found right on the lake. In summer, boaters dock at several locations to enjoy tons of events and get a bite to eat. I am always on the lookout for a great Friday night fish fry. And you can't go wrong with a view like this. Check out all of the tasty treats at Lake Wisconsin's restaurants and their calendar of events. Just head to discoverwisconsin.com and choose Lodi and Lake Wisconsin as your destination. After this short break, all right, this is awesome. Teach me how to Suzy t-shirts, but I think I know how to do that. Teach me how to Suzy, teach me, teach me how to Suzy. Trust me, this will make more sense in a few minutes. We're back, finding our oasis in Lodi and Lake Wisconsin. To me, I think the, the most surprising thing on our area is how beautiful it is and how close it is to Madison and the Dells, where you have this hidden oasis where you can get away. And what I've come to discover and love about this downtown is that we have all these different shops that have come together. Shoppers can find everything from antiques and specialty gifts to fresh brewed coffee, delicious dining, 
and two long-standing family-owned local favorites. When it comes to downtown treasures, nothing beats award-winning local meats. And sweet treats that have been baked fresh right here since 1921. Mm. This third generation bakery continues to preserve their Swiss heritage, baking breads, cookies, cakes, and other goodies. More local products can be purchased at the weekly farmer's market every Friday afternoon, May through October. And don't forget to check out Spring Creek, which flows right through downtown, and feed the families of ducks that nest there. There is a basket in the creek, and over 60 years ago, one of the mallards that frequent the area nested there. The uh, police chief's daughter named it Susie, and since that time, it's developed into a logo, a mascot, and you hear about it all over the country. Susie the Duck is so famous and loved. Each year on the second Saturday in August, there's a celebration in her honor. The festivities kick off downtown with kids' activities. It's bottle time. Then Susie makes her grand entrance in the parade. You want a duck whistle? And that comes through actually downtown and runs right down into then. We have a, you know, up to our nice parks actually, the Gores and Hopperman Parks, and we do our events down there, which are games for the kids. We have a band, a taste of Lodi in Lake Wisconsin. So we've got some of our restaurants from around the area. So lots of good things, fun for everybody. I had the honor of assisting Susie with the official duck drop to start the rubber ducky race down Spring Creek. Hold on to your raffle tickets. It takes just a little while for these guys to make the trip, but there's plenty of fun to be had in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Okay, maybe we got a little too competitive, but I definitely worked up an appetite. Wow, looks delicious, thank you. Mm, fantastic. I heard the ducks were racing towards the finish line, so I hopped in to help. All right, so here comes the first two ducks. The best part is, is I think the adults get into it just as much as the, oh, as yeah. the kids. And there's been years when there's people cheering for them. Fans also cheer on their favorite chili and barbecue dishes and do some taste testing each fall at Lodi's BBQ. We basically close our downtown Main Street and turn it into a giant block party. We have rib smokers competing to find the best ribs in, uh, in the area. We have chili and salsa tasting. We have live music in our own micro beer garden and kid zone that's just filled to the brim. It's just a lot of fun. More fall excitement can be found right down the road at Trinan Farm. This farm has been in my husband Alan's family for three generations. The Trinans still run a traditional farm today and provide visitors some unique experiences. 23 years ago, I had a uh, half acre of pumpkins, one team of horses pulling one wagon, and uh, today uh, we have between 13 and 14 acres of pumpkins, uh, five teams of horses pulling four wagons. There's nothing better than having a bunch of uh, people on our wagon who've never had a horse-drawn wagon ride. And, and then we say we're going to a real pumpkin patch where the pumpkins actually grow and you're wandering around in a field and picking them right off the vine. Oh yeah, it's a keeper. My work here is done. Families will find a whole day's worth of activities and adventures to experience at the farm. Here we go, one, two, Looking for another challenge? Try to make your way through this, the largest corn maze in Wisconsin. Find out what this fall's corn maze design will be at Trinan Farm by visiting our website and choosing Lodi and Lake Wisconsin as your destination. Up next. So what are we gonna use this for? Oh, you're gonna need it later. All right. I'm making my maiden voyage. Discover Wisconsin is back, traveling our way through Lodi and Lake Wisconsin. Wisconsin winters mean lots of snowmobiling, ice fishing, and in Lodi, curling. Columbia County, for instance, has the most curling clubs of any county in the United States. The history here goes back to 1880, when, this, when Lodi Curling Club was established. 
I've always wanted to learn how to curl, so I enlisted the help of a true expert, Tracy, a 2010 Olympic curler from Lodi. And this is silly, but the whole point is to get it in the middle of the inner circle on the other side. Yes. And you would actually have a teammate down there telling you which turn to throw, what weight you have, and then you'd also have two teammates sweeping your stone if need be. So. Awesome. After a few demonstrations and practice throws, I think I finally got the hang of it. All right, so I start down like this. Yeah. And Move your rack forward. I, oh, yeah. Move my rack forward. Yeah, bring your hips up. Yep. Pull back, slide it back, and then push off at the right. There, perfect, good job. Oh, it's staying straight. Next up, curling with sweepers. Sweep, baby, sweep. <laughs> nice shot. Tracy's right, it is addicting. You can try out curling too. Just contact the curling club. We'll get them on the ice, we'll teach them the techniques. We furnish all the equipment. They really do not need anything but a clean pair of shoes. Looking for another spot to test your sporting skills? Just bring your clubs. Lakeland Hills Country Club's nine hole course features a gorgeous view of the Lodi and Lake Wisconsin area. Speaking of spectacular views, a hike to the top of Gibraltar Rock is well worth the climb. Rising 200 feet above the surrounding landscape, this state natural area boasts panoramic views of the Wisconsin River Valley and Lake Wisconsin. And the hiking doesn't end there. The Lodi Valley chapter maintains nine miles of the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. Some fantastic sections are open for public use right now and more are coming online. Uh, where we are is part of the Gibraltar segment. Uh, the features here are wonderful old growth oaks, remnant prairies, these type of ravines that we see here uh, that reflect the last glaciation. Another segment of the trail passes right through the heart of Lodi. Along the way, watch for this footbridge. At 165 feet long, it is the longest man-made structure on the Ice Age Trail. Camping is another great way to explore nature. I've been told that when you visit the Lodi and Lake Wisconsin area, one place you have to see is Smoky Hollow Campground. And I have a few people that'll be perfect to show me around. Can I join the family today? Yeah, let's go have fun. Excellent. Smoky Hollow was just a regular everyday campground, and we took it to a different level. We took it to a level of having lots of cool, uh, inviting things for kids to do, jumping pillows, space balls, miniature golf, obviously the swim zone that we have here and the giant shopping cart. I can't believe they're trusting me to drive this. Hold on. If shopping's not your thing, how about a ride in a pumpkin coach, Segway, or bike? The fun never stops, and the activities change every weekend to match the theme. What are we gonna do with this? It's Pirate and Princess Weekend, and we're gonna build a boat. With this cardboard? Yeah. Oh boy, we better get to work, come on. Little did I know, I would be the one setting sail. Ahoy, matey! Next time, I need to find some better paddles. Oh well, might as well hop in and enjoy the water. To plan your trip to Lodi and Lake Wisconsin, head to their destination page at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up, where can you find farm animals, a pie auction, and a demo derby? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. We're exploring more of Lodi and Lake Wisconsin. Some events come and go throughout the years, but the rich tradition of the Lodi Agricultural Fair has held true to its roots for almost 150 years. It's one of the few remaining independent fairs left in the state of Wisconsin, totally run by volunteers, and it's just a great, fun event. We don't have commercial exhibitors, we have a carnival. But other than that, we have all the local organizations that have our food court. We have kept it away from being commercialized as much as possible and keep it the old time country fair that everybody just wants to come and hang out with. So. We are at the Farmer for a Day tent here, and so we've got kids playing in soybeans. We've got um, them also picking apples and digging for eggs uh, to showcase the different types of products here to connect them to their food. Here at the Lodi Egg Fair, fun can be found in all sorts of different ways, in popsicles, in winning fish. What do you guys like most about coming here? Slide. Slide. Baby, go around. For the 
girls, I think it's the food and it's the rides. They love the rides and then we get a chance to go through and see the animals, which is a big hit too. One of the things we prided ourselves here at the Lodi Fair is the fact that you can walk into a free gate and no matter if you're two years old or you're 70 years old, you can find something that you want to do on this fairground. My personal favorite, definitely the animals. A big part of agricultural affairs has to do with the animal sale and auctions, and I might just know a thing or two about that. Yup, that's me, showing my pig at the Racine County Fair. I put my experience to good use and helped Abby get Pete ready for show. He really likes getting this grooming and stuff done. <laughs> He's liking this. It's like a nice yeah. little massage for him. Mm -hmm. Pete's just hanging out. Our exhibitors are more than happy to explain their projects and tell them about their animals, and tell them what it takes to get them here and what it takes to take care of them and get them ready. It's a lot of work all the way from the beginning. I mean, you train for like a year for like one thing with one animal or more, and you get here and you hope everything works well and you want the animal to look its best. From the animals to another auction tradition, Proceeds from the Lodi Agricultural Fair's pie auction benefit the local 4-H and help keep the fair admission-free each year. We've been doing the Lodi Ag Fair pie auction for over 13 years now, and it started with humble beginnings. The first year we started it, we weren't quite sure what would happen. Pie is sold for maybe $25. Well, this past year, we sold one pie for $1,500 and um, the average pie sold for $600. We raised $12,000. Wow, I presented a caramel apple pie and hope for the best. That's My fun. friend Carla from the chamber sweetened the deal with some local products and gift certificates. In the end, my pie sold for $1,250. So the winner of the Discover Wisconsin Pie, Mr. Bud Steyer. Now, you had, to, you had to dig pretty deep in those pockets. Yeah, well, you know, it's a great cause, and it looks like a great pie. Of course, we had to sample the fruits okay. of my labor, and so did everyone else. Look at the, look at the food and fun doesn't stop there. There's also a grandstand event each night, like the Demo Derby. Get out there! It'll get your blood flowing, definitely will. Why is it so fun? Well, where else are you gonna go and see two cars run into each other, or six or eight cars out there smashing into each other for 15, 20 minutes, or until they quit running, basically. One of the things that we really would love to see people come to the Lodi Fair for is family fun. You can join in the fun at Lodi Agricultural Fair for five days every July and explore everything that Lodi and Lake Wisconsin offers year-round. You'll be surprised at the amount of things to do, how beautiful this area is. It has a natural beauty to it, and it draws people back and really makes you fall in love with the place. From Lake Wisconsin to Spring Creek, Lodi has a hidden oasis everywhere you look and tons of fun. All right, let's see what you got. Go, go. Yeah! Yeah! For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past seasons. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. So what are we gonna use this for? Well, don't worry, you're gonna need it later. <laughs> <laughs>